The Brazilian Bremer to Man United interest is Eon, and Man United are really eyeing to bring him on to the club of Trafford, to the club of Man United, to see that he obviously takes us to the high levels of competition. Welcome to the United Matters channel. Raf Halveran to Saudi Arabia talks are on. We don't know whether this is really going to go through. And lastly, we are going to discuss something concerning the game of Man United and this KDU that has gone ahead to be put up to see to that a certain game in the Premier League had to be pushed and postponed for this to happen. So let's see close to uh, 200 likes mark in this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. It's a Saturday and it's the 23rd of March, you know. Eight days to obviously come to the end of March and we call upon you guys to subscribe to this channel because we are left with few subscribers to hit 17,000 subscribers. And I think before the end of tomorrow, can we please see that happen? right so the muslims ramadan mubarak and the christians we wish you the best end of the lent period now the fa has come out and really done the following man united versus coventry in the emirates cup semi-final will be played on the sunday 21st april at 3 30 pm gmt the fa were forced to allow an earlier kickoff time after the Metropolitan Police deemed it to be a risky fixture. So, Man United is going to take on Coventry City. That is on the 21st of April. We know to reach this level, we had to knock out Liverpool at Old Trafford by four goals to three. Winner scored by <coughs> Ahmad Diallo. And after all that, we are into the semi-final at Wembley and we are going to be taking on Coventry. 21st is the day that's when the game of football is really going to be played and the dates have been confirmed. When you look at the fixtures that we had to be playing on the 20th, it was against Newcastle. It has been postponed. So, two fixtures have going to have to be postponed. One was against... Mm, there is one that was postponed. We are supposed to be playing which team? Was it Sheffield at Old Trafford? Yeah. It was Sheffield at Old Trafford and it has been rescheduled, right? We are going to be playing it on the 24th of April. I think that's going to be really in the midweek after we play on the 21st away at Wembley. So that has been confirmed. And now the fixtures of Man United are as follows. 30th March, United taking on Brentford. 4th April. Chelsea hosting Man United at the Stamford Bridge. 7th April, Man United hosting Liverpool at Old Trafford. 13th April, Bournemouth hosting Man United. Then uh, Coventry City hosting Man United at Wembley 21st. That is the FA Cup semi-final. And then 24th of April, Man United is going to be hosting Sheffield. Then 27th of April, Man United is going to be hosting Burnley at Old Trafford. 4th May, Crystal Palace is going to be hosting Man United at the Selhurst Park. Then 11th May, Man United will be hosting Arsenal. Then Brighton will be hosting Man United on the 19th of May when the Premier League comes to an end. And that will be the end of the Premier League. But the game against Newcastle will be rescheduled very, very soon. But I would like to let you know that there are some other four friendlies that have been confirmed by the club of Man United. <clears throat> Rangers, 20th July. Arsenal, 27th July. Um, Rio Betis versus Man United, 24th July. And Liverpool versus Man United, 3rd August. That is the fixture. Those are the fixtures of Man United in the preseason. Now, the FA Cup will be played on 21st, and I just want to see ourselves go into the final and knock out anyone who we are going to find there because we need to win this. This is our chance to win the FA Cup, and we shouldn't really take it for granted. We should come in through and do the job. You know, killing it off, get Coventry City off our way, and then let's go ahead and really win the. And let's go ahead and really win the FA Cup. Whether it's Chelsea or Man City, we can really do the needful because I believe in these players of Man United. I thought that that update was really important for you, the fans of Man United, to know how this game of football has gone ahead to really gate the permanent fixture and permanent time. Now, let's go to the transfer news. Tuto Sport came in through. It was not Tuto Sport. It was 
Romeo Agesti. He works for the goal and he's a Juventus correspondent for the goal. You know, when he comes out and really puts out a story, meaning that he's getting it from Juventus. Now he told us that Juventus center back, Gleison Bremer, is one of the names on March United's list. Scouts for Man United are following him often. <clears throat> so, Man United are really following this guy, that is Bremer, and he's one of those that I've gone ahead to impress them a lot, and he's 27 years of age, his experience is key, and he's playing for Juventus, and we almost, we've always, we've always gone ahead to know Italian teams as being teams that really scout some of the best centre-backs in the world. Then Toto Sport added, Man United are the front-runners to sign Juventus centre-back, Gleison Bremer, and are willing to pay 50 million euros for him. Juventus will only consider offers above 60 million euros. Now, Bremer is a very good defender. If not, going to hate to watch him. Right-footed, but he can play as a left-sided centre-back or a right-sided centre-back. When you look at his height, he's tall enough to come in through and really compete into the Premier League because he is <coughs> 1.88. He's 1.88 meters tall. That is, um, that is Bremer, Gleison, Silva, Nascimento. He's 27 years of age and um, he just made 27 this month on this 18th of March. He was born in Brazil and he obviously plays for Juventus. When you look at this guy, he's not an injury-prone player because no injury-prone player plays 30 games. You're right. No injury-prone player plays 30 games a season. Last season, he played 30 games, scored four goals and one assist. This season, he has gone ahead to play 28 games, two goals and zero assists. That is Bremer. And all of those goals have gone ahead to come in through from set pieces. Now, one thing I've gone ahead like about Bremer is that he's good in the air. Defensively, and offensively, he wins those earlier duels like you, you want them. When you look at Man United, <coughs> if you get in Bremer and his articulacy in the air, that means when it comes to obviously putting in the shift in what we call, in what we call, when it comes to him putting in the shift in what we call the earlier duels being won in the side of Man United, that will be really doing us great and great stuff for the side of Man United and I really love that about him. He's a player <clears throat> that you can trust in the air and he obviously gets us to those levels that everyone will really understand that Bremer is really a very good quality player into those positions. So in the air he's good, ground is good, he's energetic but the problem is this amount of money 50 to 60 million euros. I think he's worth it. He's worth it because in the modern era, if at all you want an elite player to come in through and really do your job, he must be into that ilk and you need to be doing the needful. So they have to compare him with Breathwaite, uh, Mark Gehi, and very many others. So for me, I would love to get in a player who could play in both positions of the um, in the central defense. And sometimes I think I'll also be played as a right back as Bremer. And there is a huge note that we got in from Tuto Sport via Team Talk that Dan Ashworth has recommended the signing of Gleimerson Bremer to Man United. The club has already been tracking Bremer for months and there is there is strong belief that this idea can be done with Juventus under pressure to sell a big name to help ease their financial worries. So Juventus is really having some financial problems. We all know that they need to do something around to figure out what problem it is in there for you. The money they are really having is not enough to obviously see them gate to the levels where they should be as a side of Juventus and they're really having huge, huge, huge problems and they're suffering huge problems as far as finances are really concerned. They don't want to vault the financial fair play and if at all you are going to play into the Champions League like Juventus Mejors, it looks like they're second to Inter Milan, though Inter Milan is really very many points, 10 plus points ahead of them. You need to strengthen your side and sometimes you need to sacrifice some of your better players and you get in those that you believe can come in through and do the needful. So that is Bremer for you and Dan Ashworth has gone ahead to recommend him and he has gone ahead to recommend him to the board of Man United. I know he's on his gardening leave at Newcastle 
but they are really doing the needful. The same applies to Omar Berada. He's starting his job officially as a CEO of Man United on the 1st of June, but he's really trying to do the needful. The incumbent staff for the club of Man United are doing their job, but in the due course of them doing their job, that won't stop them from really doing um all working under all under the supervision of these two people because they are the ones responsible for the next future of the club and for me i love the player as bremer and he's not an injury prone partnering him with um lisandro martinez will be really a very good partnership but i tell you i'm team todibo i don't see any central defender that's being linked to my united that has the qualities of todibo that guy is not there. Todibo is the real deal. And I will be very furious if at all we don't get in Todibo at the club of Man United. I wish we can get him in to do the needful. After that, let's go to Rafael Veran, one of those players that has gone ahead, obviously find himself in a position of um in a position of um not being rewarded in your contract at Man United, as I told you that there are no discussions and Rafael Veran looks like he's going to leave the club of Man United and maybe Bremer might be coming in through to really sit in the foot of Rafael Veran, who United believe that he is really off the grip and they no longer need him at the club of Man United unless otherwise he takes a pay cut. But we've been told by Jacobs Ben that Altihad are relatively advanced in terms of pitching a contract proposal to Rafael Veran, who is out of contract in the summer. Man United still have a one year to trigger and uh, Rafael Veran is not going to have to call in a lot of interest because if teams wanted to sign him, they would have gone ahead to sign him in January after United came up and really kept themselves away from triggering that one year contract they really have. What's the reason of United not triggering that one year? It's because of the 330 330 uh, it's because of the three hundred and thirty thousand pounds a week that Rafael Veran has gone ahead to earn at the club of Man United for the rest of his career that he has to play for the club of Man United. And United is like that is a lot of money. If at all you want to keep yourself here at Man United, you need to come out and really cancel out that. That's what he's being told by the people responsible at Man United and I don't know what Rafael Veran is all about. Is Man United going to really make it a point to really keep him around? <clears throat> I doubt but Altihad are pitching a contract proposal meaning that they are preparing a contract proposal and they are nearing the terms you know. So it's up to Rafael Veran to either accept what Man United is really telling them or not. So it's really going to be one of those moments that we'll be waiting for here at the United Matters channel on whether Rafael Veran is going to stay. But the list of players, especially central defenders, that is being linked to Man United is really immense. It's surging day in, day out. Now, there is Goncalo Inacio, there is Antonio Silva, you know, there is Todi Bo, there is Bremer, there is uh, Jules Conde, there is Arojo. Those are six, and all of those are out of the Premier League. Now, let's go. To those in the Premier League, Mark Gahey playing at Crystal Palace, you know, Breathweight is another one that's being looked at by the club of Man United and is highly rated and looks like Ineos wants to bring in that English guy who has gone ahead to get his first call at the club of, sorry, at the club of England. And it looks like he is the most reliable that they are going to go for at the club of Man United to see to it that they sign him in there. So the list is really long, but it will depend on who is leaving and who is staying. If you happen to get out two central defenders, then two more will have to come in through. If you happen to sell off one, then one more will have to go. Sorry, one one more will have to come in through. But according to the situation at Man United, I'd love to see it that when you bring in one central defender, if at all Ten Hag approves to us that Kambwala will be ready to get to be part of the season of Man United of 2024-2025. If Kambwala is not ready, then we have to bring in two. So, right now we are really having uh, Lisandro Martinez, Rafael Veran, Harry Maguire, Victor Linderov, Kambwala, and John Evans. We are having six central defenders. Now, we need to offload two. I think Harry Maguire and Rafael Veran are some of those players that are really going to leave the club of Man United. So, if those two leave, that means we'll be left with four because for Johnny Evans, He's that player that you need to be on your bench such that 
when you need him to play he'll come and play he's not going to really demand for playing time but at 35 years of age you know 35 36 years of age he's really performing better than some of the defenders at the club of man united and i've always told you that he's better than harry Maguire. i've said it on several occasions some people have come out and really rubbished it but to me he's better than harry Maguire. that is john evans for you he's press resistant his game reading is really um very good at the age of 36 he's more agile than harry Maguire, who is just 30 years of age and when you look at his head his headers in the set pieces of man united he heads them with precision with a lot of direction and he shows you exactly what he's made of that is john evans for you did you remember the pass he played for um he played for he played for bruno fernandez to score that only one goal went ahead to score when you're winning against Burnley. you remember that he can also really go for that ball over the top that is the quality he has and his game reading is really way out of this world so from here i would rather keep john evans sell harry Maguire, get in like 30 million pounds then try to bring in two more central defenders at the club of man united so guys your thoughts on to bremer to man united are welcome in the comment section below do you think he's worth 50 or 60 million euros in the comment section below what do you make about rafael veran and altihad preparing to obviously put in the proposal to him May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David reminds me is my name. The Muslims. Barak Laufikum and Ramadan Mubarak to you guys. I think this is the second week that's going to hit a lapse of fasting. I think it's like three weeks to go for you to call it quits. The Christians are left with just days to really call it quits. Don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 17,000 subscribers before the end of this. Um, before the end of this. Um, before the end of this month. And let's call it quits. For now, Rock and David remains my name. Bye bye.